One of the challenges with the Ferrari 308 is getting all of the air out of the cooling system. Now, if there's air in the cooling system, it won't function as efficiently and the car could overheat. So you have to bleed the air out. Now, in the front, by the radiator, this is pretty easy to do. You just loosen the bleed screw and there's a hole in it so that air can just come right out. But in the back, where the thermostat housing is, the bolt is not a bleeder bolt, it's just a regular bolt. So in order to get air out, you have to take the thing almost completely out. And if the car is hot, it means you're gonna spew hot coolant fluid all over the place and maybe even drop the bolt and it'll just be a mess. So unobtainium supply creates a bleeder bolt that you can get and replace the bolt in the thermostat housing. And that's what we're gonna do today. So here it is the easy bleeder bolt and it comes with a ceiling washer as well. It has a hole in it which you'll see in a second right there and that hole through here and the side allows air to escape the system without taking the bolt completely out. Okay so we're on the right side of the car and right here is the bolt we're going to be swapping out. Okay, so I've got a uh, 13 millimeter socket on my wrench. Now I pre-loosened this because I'm working one-handed, but when you do this, when you free the bolt, it's probably going to be pretty tight. You want to be really careful because as you pull it, you don't want your hand to kind of boomerang back and get a cut. Ask me how I know. <laughs> so anyway, we'll take this out and we'll just remove this bolt and the little washer and replace it with the other one. Just be really, really careful. You don't want to drop this. So here's the new one, the bleeder version with the hole in it. You can see there's the uh, OEM one, which is just a regular bolt. So I've got the washer on now and now I'm just going to thread it back in and then tighten it down. Again, be careful, you don't want to hurt yourself. Now it's just a standard 13 millimeter or M8. So you torque it down to the proper spec and you're done. Now next time you need to bleed the system, you just have to loosen a little bit and the air will come right out. 